Have you seen the eyeline panel boards from Square D? The eyeline design has been a contractor favorite since its debut in 1966. Watch this short video to learn more. You're about to see how easy it is to save time, labor, space, and money through this simple installation of Schneider Electric's unique circuit breaker engagement system into the iLine power distribution panel board, the most flexible and adaptable on the market. Before we begin the installation, you'll need to assemble a few things. A straight blade screwdriver or Robertson driver, a socket wrench, boxed end wrench, supplied hardware package, PPE, safety shoes, eye protection, and gloves, and a surface large enough on which to place the panel board. For those of you mounting the eyeline interior into the eyeline enclosure on site at a facility, refer to the instructions found in the NEMA PB 1.1 standards publications and instruction bulletin number 80043309920. Start by installing one elevating nut on each enclosure stud. Set the interior on the enclosure studs and secure with the flange nuts as shown. A screwdriver blade may be inserted in the elevating nut slot to facilitate adjustment. Adjust each elevating nut to maintain a maximum distance of 0.125 of an inch between the interior trim and the front door assembly. Tighten the flange nuts against the pen. The included ground bar can be placed in multiple locations in the eyeline power distribution panel board. Refer to 80043-31203 eyeline panel board grounding bar mounting instructions for details. Place and secure as shown. Next, be sure the neutral insulator is already installed in the equipment as it is required before proceeding. If not installed, electric shock, explosion or arc flash can occur. If the neutral insulator isn't already installed, contact Schneider Electric's customer care center for assistance. Next, to easily install the solid neutral into the eyeline power distribution panel board, first lift the red cover, place the solid neutral as shown, and tighten with the supplied hardware. If used as service entrance equipment, the included neutral bonding strap will be required by your contractor, so be sure to include it with your shipment. Additionally, a service entrance barrier kit will also be required. Refer to instruction bulletin 80043-83901 for more information. Be aware that the eyeline circuit breakers are supplied with factory applied joint compound on the plug-on connectors. That compound should not be removed because it contributes to the overall performance of the connection. Whenever an eyeline circuit breaker is removed and reinstalled, the joint compound must be reapplied. Use joint compound PJC7201. To install the circuit breaker, position the circuit breaker jaws against the bus bar stack so that the key slot on the bottom of the circuit breaker is oriented towards the alignment groove in the bus insulation base. And make sure the fingers of the circuit breaker mounting bracket fit into the key slots in the pan. To complete the install of the circuit breaker, place a screwdriver through the rectangular hole in the circuit breaker mounting bracket and into the screwdriver slot in the mounting pan. Ratchet the circuit breaker firmly into the bus bar stack and align the retaining screw with the mounting hole in the pan. Do not force the circuit breaker onto the bus stack. If it does not slide on smoothly, remove and check for proper alignment. Then tighten the retaining screw securely to prevent the circuit breaker from moving. Ensure the retaining screw is tight, but don't tighten it enough to bend the mounting bracket. This process is repeated for all breakers to be installed. What's unique about this eyeline circuit breaker system is its ability to allow dissimilar circuit breakers to be mounted across from one another. For the first time, you can actually mount a 1200 amp circuit breaker across from a 15 amp. This innovative game changer gives you unprecedented flexibility in a panel board. It allows you to make last minute changes and adaptations to any project since circuit breakers can be installed quickly and easily. And unlike other panel boards that cut off the space in the panel, iLine lets you add breakers as needed down the road. Simply buy iLine and mounting inches and there will always be inches left over. Blank fillers should be mounted over unused areas of the iLine panel board. To install blank fillers, simply mount on the mounting pan like this. The blank fillers must be screwed to the back pan with the included hardware. Refer to Digest Section 9, Eyeline Merchandised Panel Board Accessories 
for which blank extensions to use with which breakers. Perform a test fit of the interior dead front to determine how many blank extensions will be needed to cover the exposed bus area. All unused bus spaces must be covered by blank extensions. Remove the interior dead front to install blank extensions. To install blank extensions, simply square the blank extensions to the interior dead front. Then, reinstall the dead front, securing it with the screws provided. For main circuit breakers only, attach the main circuit breaker label to the circuit breaker cover. Now, install the end trims. Install the side trims. Adjust the fit and tighten all the screws to complete the installation of the trim. Finally, fit and secure the door panels. In addition to superior reliability and performance, you'll find I-Line Power panel boards are the most shallow and the narrowest on the market today requiring less walkway space and making them the most convenient for installations, no matter the industry or commercial facility.